Hello, this is Nick Combs from Nick Combs EDU, and today I want to tell you about one online tool called Spiral that allows teachers to assess student knowledge quickly in the classroom while streamlining teacher feedback efficiently. This application does support a one-to-one -one classroom environment, so each kid will need a device to post their answers or drawings or comments uh, to your questions. The Spiral software, as you can see, has four different uh, tools to support the classroom environment. But the one that we're going to focus on today is Quick Fire. So this is a quick way to give formative assessments. You can see and assess all student knowledge in the classroom and give feedback um, quickly and efficiently. So how do you create this? Well, you press the plus sign at the bottom left. And on the right side of the screen here, you're going to see my teacher version. And on the left side of the screen is the student login page. So uh, when you first go to spiral.ac uh, and you go to quick fire and you press plus, you can either add, you can plan questions out, so specific ones that you're going to use, or you can just verbally ask questions. So I'm going to choose, uh, we're going to name this math, and I'm going to just give verbal questions here. Um, choose the classroom that I'm going to use it in. So for this one, I'm going to use conference. On my student iPads that I have on the left side of the screen, I'm going to do student login, which is the blue button at the top right. It's going to take me to a code. And as you can see on the right hand side of the screen, the code that I want to type in is MW, uh, MWZRC. So I'm going to add that in and press go, just like a student would. And once I do that, it's going to take me to a page for me to type in my name. So maybe the first student is Nick, the second student is Combs, and they're going to log in and they're good. So as you can see, it says that Quickfire is paused and their icons have appeared on the screen. So it's waiting for me to open up uh, the channel so that they can post their comments. So for question one, we can set a timer here if we wanted to. So maybe I say um, they have 30 seconds to answer this question. And the question may be, what is 3 times 3? And they need to give me their answer. So on a student iPad, they're going to type in their answer. So maybe the first student answers 9 and presses post. The second student answers maybe 12. And they post their answers as well. So both students have posted their answers. I'm going to show those answers on my individual page. So I'm going to press show answer. Time is up. Okay. We're good. So our students, as you can see, have posted 9 and 12. Now, how do you know which students uh, that actually post uh, is? It's down here at the bottom right. It says show students. And now it says Nick answered 9, Combs answered 12. And I'm going to check them off. Now, if they were all correct, I could say tick all, which would give them, uh, you know, showing that they did get it correct on all devices. But in this case, I have to individually go. So Nick, you got it right. You're going to get a check off. And then Combs got it wrong. So he's going to have to redo his answering. So on my device, if I press play, they could actually um, – see that they got it right. So Nick got it right on the left hand page. He got a check mark and Combs on the bottom did not. So they can actually edit the one if I want them to change it. They can type in the box and they can resubmit an answer and now it's going to show that both students did get it correct. So none was the answer. Now if I want to add another question I just press plus and I can go to my next question. So I'm going to press play, and I could just ask them uh, what is 12 times 12, or whatever other question you have for them. I mean, it can be any subject area. This could be used for a Socratic dialogue. It could be used for um, quick facts on historical figures, um, all sorts of things. So it's just to understand what student knowledge they have. Um, it could be uh, trying to figure out like a KWL, what do they know? This would be a good way to assess their understanding as well. So these are quick and easy ways that, for them to post comments and answers. So Quickfire is uh, a 
one of my favorite tools to use. It's, it's quick and efficient. Once you're done, you just press finish and you're back to the main page. You can see now that uh, I can show all ticked correct answers. I can show students' names as well. And for all questions, you can export to Excel sheets or print the responses. So you are tracking that data over time. Uh, if you like this version of Spiral, check out the other tools as well because all of them are excellent tools to use in your classroom.